welcome to the Aaron Cooking League. I am your host, as always, Salt Jacobson, and I am here with my co-host and partner in crime, A.A. Ron. Waza! Thanks for that, A.A. Ron. You are full of energy. I'm sure you're excited to be here. Totally, totally. Super stoked. Excited for this first ep. It's going to be cool to see what happens, man. What's this kid cooking today? Hey, Aaron, you already know that he's cooking chicken wings, but we don't know exactly what method he'll be using or what kind of dipping sauce they'll be going with. Right. And it's like our job to talk about what he's doing when he's doing it. Exactly. And of course, the star of our show, the main competitor in this competition is Aaron Alterman. Yeah, Salt. And it does seem like he's got a good night's sleep. Look at the way he's stretching. He seems limber and ready to rock and roll. Right you are, A.A. Ron, and here he comes with his chicken wings. It looks like he's got the whole wing and he's going to be breaking them down. Come on, man. Positive vibes only. I don't think he's going to break down. Uh, no. I meant that he's going to be breaking down his chicken wings. I don't get it, man, but it does look like he's cutting them up. Right you are, and he's separating those flats and drumettes and really staying nice and organized today with one bowl for the whole wings and one bowl for the cut ones, and this is really looking good. Yo, what's that knife? Uh, it looks like he's using his Honosuke, which is a Japanese boning knife specifically made for poultry, although any knife would work. And I don't believe it, he's already done, and it looks like he's holding on to the little wing tips for stock. Well, I'm buying stock in this guy, because he really likes to stay clean out there. And you love to see it. It looks like he's moving on to drying his chicken wings off, and I assume he's going with an oven-baked method and wants to make sure that they stay nice and crispy. And extra points for his organizational skills today. Salt man, what's he doing with that thing? Great question, A.A. Ron. That is a scale, and it looks like he's going to be weighing out his chicken wings because I believe he's going to be adding baking powder, a key ingredient for crispy oven-baked wings. And there is the baking powder. It looks like he's going to be adding about one teaspoon of baking powder per pound of chicken. That looks cool, dude. It's like a winter wonderland in that bowl. Whatever you say, A.A. Ron, it looks like he's going to be mixing all of that together before adding the rest of his seasonings. And here come the seasonings, starting with granulated garlic followed by onion powder. And here comes the smoked paprika, and around the corner he's whipping out the cayenne and followed by salt and pepper. And he's going to mix all that together to have a beautifully seasoned bowl of chicken! Salt, dude, you gotta check your pants, man. Don't get too excited over there. My pants are fine. And back to the chicken, which has been chilling in the fridge for about 30 minutes before he lines up his baking tray. And it looks like a pro move here, lining it with foil to make sure that the pan stays clean before adding his wire rack. And another pro move, he's going to spray it down with non-stick spray. So, did you see that ball flip, man? He's got mad flipping skills. Absolutely. And of course, that's going to always gain points in my book. And it looks like he's laying down his chicken skin side down because I believe that the flipping will continue. Looking forward to more flips, Salt. Well, we have a lot to look forward to as these chicken wings go into a 300 degree oven for 20 minutes. Salt, dude, I don't think you can cook chicken wings in 20 minutes. Well, it is only step one of the process. He's going to be taking those wings out of the oven, bumping it up to 425 for a second bake. Dude, more flips again. I could watch this kid flip all day. Now that these are flipped, they're going back into the oven at 425. And this seems like the perfect time for him to work on his sauces. Definitely solid strategy because you don't want to get lost in the sauce. Right you are, and it looks like he's going to be starting with his dipping sauces. This can be made well in advance. He's whipping out his favorite scale, and here comes Dukes, his favorite mayo, and oh my goodness, did he just do a container flip? I'm telling you, flips all day. Oh, and here comes another big push. He's starting with the sour cream, followed by freshly grated garlic, lemon zest, and lemon juice, salt, and pepper. I'm feeling a blue cheese dressing coming on here, and what is this? It's goat cheese. He's pulling a last minute audible with the goat cheese. I do not believe it. Yeah, Salt, that cheese isn't looking very blue. Your observational skills never cease to impress me. We are gonna have to ask him about this one later, but I'm sure he has a strategy. But the sauce is really looking very nice here. It's got a good consistency, very similar to blue cheese, but I'm sure with less funk and more tang. We got the funk, yeah. Got the funk. Hey, hey, Ron, your commentating skills outdo your singing skills, and that, my friend, is saying something. Salt, man, you just know how to give such good compliments. Thanks, bro. 
Looks like he's moving that over to a small ramekin for easy dipping, looking really nice, and I believe he's now going to be moving on to the buffalo sauce. Another super cool flip, dude, and he's got bottle handling skills. This kid as coordinated as a baby baboon. Uh, what? So man, if you don't know anything about Baby Baboons, that's not my fault, but we want to see that replay. All right, and yes, it really is a beautiful bottle toss. It looks like he's going with Frank's Red Hot. I guess you don't want to mess with the classics. I don't mess with classics, man. Frank's Red Hot is the OG. Okay then, let's just repeat things that I say in different words. It looks like he's pouring about half a cup into a small pot, bringing it up to a small simmer, and going in with cold butter. Word. Yes, and he is adding butter a little bit at a time until he reaches about half a stick of butter. It's important for it to be cold so that it emulsifies properly, and he's got a great technique mixing with one hand and moving with the other. Epic style salt, my dude. Wait, why is he adding something else? I really like this move. He's adding just a touch of honey to balance out the heat. It's looking like a really nice consistency. He'll throw a lid on it and keep it warm until those wings are done. I hope they're done soon, Salt, because that dude looks hungry. Well, perfect timing because I'm being told that he's taking them out of the oven as we speak. Look in flame. I hope they're crispy. Great point. Let's go down to the sound check. Dang, gotta give him a 10 on the crispiness there, Saul. It's like he fried them in the oven. That, my friend, is called baking. And back to the action. I am really getting excited here because we're down to the wire. It's time to throw them into the bowl and sauce those chicken wings. Let's go! And here we go, from the pot into the bowl. In a perfect circular motion, that velvety sauce is getting all over those chicken wings. I cannot believe how beautiful this looks so far. He's starting with the swirling motions, and here come the jumps. I believe he's starting with some smaller jumps and working his way up to the grand finale. Smaller jumps looking great, and here come the bigger ones, getting bigger and bigger. And here comes the grand finale. Oh, it's a beautiful jump, and what is this? It's a bowl toss infraction. Oh my, let's take a closer look. Dude, the throw looked good, and then that wing just got away from him man and he boofed it and he's gonna have to hurry man because if he doesn't make that five second rule he's gonna have to switch to the 10 second rule hey aaron those aren't real rules not with that attitude man let's see how it turned out Dude, those wings are totally lost in the sauce. A.A. Ron, truer words could not be spoken. That is just the most beautiful coating of sauce I have ever seen. And this guy shows true dedication, man. He is putting those on the plate like a true work of art. This is the kind of plating that you only see in fine dining, plated up with the dipping sauce. These are beautiful. Salt dude, this guy crushed it. Yes, it was quite the effort, especially for the kickoff of this prestigious league, and I'm being told that Aaron Alterman is meeting us in the booth for a post-game interview. Aaron, thanks so much for taking the time to join us. You really did a great job today. How does it feel? Hey guys, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm a little sweaty. It gets hot in here, especially with this uniform, you know, but it's just part of the game. Man, nothing's too hot for you. You're straight fire. Aaron, we were curious to ask you about this goat cheese audible that you pulled. Can you tell us more about that? Ah, uh, yes. The goat cheese. Thing is, I had a bunch of goat cheese crumbles in my fridge for a different project, and I just didn't want to go buy blue cheese on top of that. Those were already there, paid for, ready to go. So we pulled that last minute audible, switched it up a little bit, and I'm happy with it. Well, way to stay nimble and thinking on your toes. Do you have any shout outs for us today? Yeah, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers for subscribing and liking the video. I'd also like to thank these chickens for donating their wings to the cause. It's really appreciated. Well, once again, really great job on the effort today. Thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you cook again soon. Looking forward to what you guys have for me next time, and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go finish my wings and, and enjoy this victory. Hey, Aaron, what a class act that guy is, is he not? Salt dude, Aaron's just a cool man, and like, I think I would eat chicken wings with him. And that is the perfect way to segue into the end of our show. Thank you so much to our subscribers for liking and commenting on this video, and we will see you next time on the Aaron Cooking League. Later, dudes.